have a grid. Let's name the locations of all the toy caterpillars. There are three caterpillars. One caterpillar is at second row, so two, and column C, so its name will be 2C. So the position of first toy caterpillar is 2C. Other caterpillar is at third row and B column, so we can name its position as 3B. And the other third caterpillar is at fourth row and column and E column, so its position can be named as 4E. Now let's name the location of this teddy bear. It is at second row and D column, so its location is 2D. So kids, now let's move to another example. Here is another grid showing the position of four things. A tree, a monkey, a parrot, and a butterfly. Now let's answer a few questions based on this grid. If the monkey has reached the tree, which path should he take? He should move three cells to left and then one cell up to reach the tree. So its path should be three cells left and then one cell up. Now let's find if the parrot has to reach the tree. Which path should he take? One cell to the right and then two cells up. So its path should be one cell to the right and two cells up. Now let's find if the parrot has to reach the butterfly. Which path should he take? He should move two cells to the left and then one cell down. So his path should be two cells to the left and one cell down. So kids, now you know what are grids, what are columns and rows, how to name the locations in a grid. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!